Hi, welcome back to my channel, Bones of the Dream. Um, welcome to anyone new here, and hi to anyone who's been here before. Nice to see you back. So, this is the second part. So, the first part of, the, of um, this, I done a drawing, a grid drawing, using the black and white um, reference picture. Sorry, my mind got back then. So, today I'm going to add some colour. So these are the colours that I think I might use, I might need. Watercolour I'm using and it's the first time I've used watercolour. So wish me luck and let's see how it goes. So I've got my black and white reference picture so that I can see the colour values better. And I've also got the colour picture which is on an old phone because I haven't got this printer I can tell colour. So that's the best way I can do it. This is the picture that I drew from the grid last time. So now we're going to add some colour to it. So, and let's hope it goes okay. So I've popped it on a time lapse now just to help see what I'm doing. So first of all I've just done the background a nice plain blue just to keep it nice and simple because it's the first time I've ever used watercolour so I don't want to make it too extravagant. Um, so yeah now I'm just working on the colour values on the dogs starting with the darkest part first. Um, as I say I've never used watercolour before so I've found out now that once you make a mistake it's really hard to fix. With, I mean I normally use acrylic and it's really um, acrylic really forgiven because if you make a mistake it's really easy to fix you just paint over it and that's it done. Whereas with watercolour I've now found out that if you make something too dark you can't lighten it again and also if you do make a mistake you can't paint over it because as soon as you add another colour, the colours just start to blend in together. So on the front of this dog now, I've just made it too dark, far too dark, and I had no idea I was going to fix it. So I did the best that I could, considering that I've never used it before. Um, yeah, so the story behind these two dogs, the biggest one's named Starlet, and the smallest one is called Betty Boop, and they're my friend's dogs, and they've both recently died within a few months of each other. So Starlet died first a couple of months ago and then Betty Boops recently died a couple of weeks ago so my friends devastated so this was um, what I thought I could do to just try and help help her a little bit so I hope she likes it um, yeah working with the watercolour anyway it was quite hard quite tricky but I think I kind of got the hang of it in the end after making my mistake and now I know not to make that mistake again and um, don't forget as well, if you um, enjoy my channel, subscribe, I upload a new video every weekend. So now I'm just working on making the darker parts that little bit more darker just to give the um, painting a little bit of depth. And you can see in my little phone there that I haven't used the background on my um, reference picture because I had another picture with this little cushion on and I thought it looked really cute with the two of them sitting on this blue cushion. So that's why I've chosen to do the cushion instead of the original background on the reference picture which is in the bottom corner. I actually really enjoyed doing the watercolour to be honest and I think I'm going to do some more watercolour paintings in the future. Also, if you are a watercolour paint, paint artist, sorry, um, let me know any hints and tips that you've got and let me know where I've gone wrong. As I say, it's my first time, so I know there's definitely room for improvement. So I'm just adding some um, fur to these dogs to make them look a bit more like, like Bichons. And this is the final image. Which, it hasn't turned out too bad considering it's my first time. I'm quite happy with it. I know there is loads of improvement, but I am really happy with how it's turned out, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.